Welcome back, everybody. Part two, session <coughs> fifteen. Um, because someone already fought a beast, this will be the next day. Um, is there anything that you want to do as a group before the next day? Oh, buy healing potions. Huh? Buy healing potions. <coughs> oh yeah. I should buy two of them. You can indeed buy healing potions. Yes. Uh. There are a handful of apothecaries in town that sell those sorts of things. Also, obviously, Sven's Coffee Shop uh, is always a good go-to for those. Um, Izura, you wanted to go there anyway, right? Also, yes. Finn okay. just got money. He wants to go see the Mao at the fin uh, this big store. Ooh. Like, uh, every time. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair the one enough. I was reading the smut. So and you it's guys. a different one every time. You have no idea. It's Mm -hmm. You guys, well, that's a, you. You kind of have come to the realization that that's probably a title, yeah. not their name. Yeah. But they go. They just all go by Kajit because it's easier. Uh, so everyone goes. I'm guessing is well. Okay, is everyone going to Sven's coffee shop? Yeah. Let's go there. Are we in the same place again? Everybody. Well, yeah. This I suppose yeah. it's after okay. a couple of fights. Mm -hmm. And uh, after a couple fights, you're still I'm covered in blood. Pretty bloody. I'm I mean, you can spend hit dice if you want to. I, I, I want to do that. Okay. Because uh, you'll have plenty of time. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Rest. Maybe I, I can try to heal you. I know. I'm, I'm gonna spend several. Yeah. Like all of them. Uh, oh, well, but yeah, regardless, yeah. we go to Sven's coffee shop. I have potions. Um, have it is bustling. Here? Have I been here before? Probably. I don't Not know that you have. I was like, um, not right, not with everyone else, but you're familiar with it. Uh, it's run, uh, it's owned, I should say, by uh, a person who goes by the name of Sven, who it turns out, uh, as of the last campaign, uh, was actually Naut, the god of technology, uh, which explains how his shop is so ridiculously magical and doesn't implode upon itself because his shop is an extra dimensional space that contains within it extra dimensional spaces like bags of holding and the like which technically can't happen. really happen Spanish. but he no can do it yeah because he's the storage of things man so he can kind of override that because he's a god and he can do that anyway uh it is bigger on the inside uh as it always has been there are numerous, numerous aisles, and this place is actually, for as large as it is, it's pretty crowded uh, because it's a very large city and a lot of people shop here. You see a lot of other adventurers, um, you see a handful of commoners there to just buy like general store type stuff like rope and the like. He doesn't carry a lot of that, he just has maybe a handful of pieces. Um, he tends to leave the mundane items for other shop owners. Uh, but there is an aisle for healing potions. You can buy... Uh, you want to get like regular healing potions? What? How much are the the better ones? The shiny ones? It's probably more than... Uh, the greater... Ones. The potions of, of greater healing. Yeah. I do believe that there are 150 white draka. How much do they help? 20 hit points. Worth it. Um, I'll take two of those. Let me see what I have. Have I made enough of them to hand you two of them? Maybe I have not. Well, we can always... Wait! I have so many potions. Here we go, okay. <laughs> I have only made one of these. <coughs> Fair enough. You're gonna buy two? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Just checking to make sure I didn't accidentally like put more of them somewhere else. Somewhere else. That happens from time to time. Uh, I need to get this reorganized again. You you okay. made the house rule that drinking is a bonus item. Is that a Yes. Okay. Drinking a potion. Drink. Okay, so drinking a potion yourself, like, 
your own potion and turning yourself is a bonus action. Nice. Feeding a potion to someone else is an action. Ah, makes sense. Uh, so I only have one of these right now, but you can just, you know you'll have two. Right. You just right. won't hand me back one until you use two. Get a punch uh, card. So you buy yeah. Two. Yeah. Get a punch card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe mark pencil on all the note cards. For you, I mean, you could oh, yeah. keep a tally like that you have two. Two um, you just, you just put it on a that's true too. That's a good idea. Um, Izora, what are you looking for? So I I am looking for some vices of defense and an amulet of health. Uh, no amulet of health. Amulet. You'll have to find that. Uh, bracers of defense. Yeah. That's an uncommon item. I believe so. <laughs> I may have already moved. Are those magic items in the player's handbook? Uh, the DMs. Yeah, that's all in DM's guide. Uh, Bracers, I do not have a card of that made. Um, I need to look it up. Hang on. I know what it does. Uh, as long as you're not wearing armor or a shield, you, you get, plus two, get plus two to AC. Yes. Where did my DMG go? And I looked it up, and it does work in conjunction with Mage Armor. No, those are two different. Am I just not seeing it? What are you looking for? My check. I'm, it's, I'm just being dumb. Okay. Being dumb? Eh. Eh. Right on top. Uh, Makes me nervous. Defense are rare. Rare? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's fun. Um... Bracers of Defense. Uh, Corey has a rare item, doesn't he? Or is that very rare? Bracers of Defense. What is the cost for that? Ooh, okay. That's going I mean, to I be. Have, I have a handy table for rolling costs. No, I got it. Bracers of Defense will be. 2,500 white. Kajit has wares if you have coin. I do not have a coin. Thank well, you. perhaps later then. Uh, I would like to. So, is the whole group here? Yes. So, I have one, one diamond for to the right wall. So, I can, I can bring someone back from the brink of death as long as it happens close enough to me within one minute. I can bring you back. But I only have one diamond. So, if you guys would like me to resurrect you at some point, I have to eat more diamonds. We're not done. How, how yeah, I'll be okay. Look we'll, at this team. It's gonna be great. Well, what kind of diamond? It's a diamond uh, worth 500? I think it's, it's either 5 or 3. I'm looking up the spell now. Might not be a bad idea. Oh, yeah, it doesn't break away. I think you said that already. No, no, that's, uh, that's where it's going to It's consumed in the... Uh, oh, I see. In, in, in the, I mean, the I think we have money in the bank. The money in the bank. You guys have banks? <laughs> you got banks. Yeah, he has a bank. Uh, we have three green Draka. That's yes, 300 white. 300 gold pieces. That's, uh, that's enough. Yeah, <laughs> that's enough. So you can buy... No, that's a thousand. That's a thousand each. No. no. It's, the green is a thousand, white is a hundred. No, the blue is a thousand. No, no, a blue green, is a green is 100 white. Yeah, right. Blue is 1,000 green. Yeah. <laughs> 1,000 green. Which so is 100. 100. So yeah, Absurd. we have three, 1, green, 100. So yeah. that's what the bank's there for. Boom. You guys have a bank? Get that. Still well, they have, they have. We have a bank holding. They have group oh, funds. Right. Yeah. It's group funds. So you're going to get one diamond worth. 300 white for purposes of that spell. Uh, revivify? Yeah. And revivify. Hand, it, hand it to Crowley. Right. It's like, I'm buying this really expensive shiny thing, and Crowley yeah. is the one Here you, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Cool. Alright. Anybody else buying anything? Yeah, do you have um, a bladed shield? A bladed 
shield. Shield you might be able to attack with. Yeah. Is cool. that in the DMG? I don't know. That's not an item. No, that's not. It's not an item. item. No, that's we can. We, 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 we can. I mean, <laughs> you can go see a blacksmith, and he can probably make you one. Damn. But. Oh, there might be a spike shield. I don't. I don't know that it's magical though. It's just. A, yeah. It's just a mundane shield that has a spike on the front. Yeah. Yeah. What about just like a plus one shield? I mean, you got a, one of those suckers laying around. Uh, yes. How much is that? Shield. Shieldiness plus one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Plus one, two, three modifier table. Why don't uh, we have it memorized? I don't have it memorized. <laughs> okay. Plus one is, is uncommon. A, is uncommon. Nice. That's definitely affordable. Um, uncommon. Actually, give me a percentile roll first. You need to roll something other than 25 to one. Uh, oh, spike shield doesn't exist, by the way. 85. 85, okay, cool, he does have one. Excellent. Uh, it is... An arm and a leg. Uncommon is going to be, it is, uh, we'll say, 300 white. Oh, sweet. It is mine. It is mine. <laughs> <laughs> My precious. So there you go. My arm and a shield. Your AC just went up a point. 223. Yeah. Well, 24 when I have um, the shield, shield faith, faith at activated. Yeah. yeah. You're not going to hit bonkers. Yourself. That means that. <laughs> exactly what we need. If you were fighting the T Rex, and you're not, hopefully, no. um, I would have to roll a 14 or better to hit. To hit you. That's pretty good odds. Yeah, that's yeah. good odds. Uh, when I get a little bit of high level, I probably will. Do it. That's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty it'd, it'd, good. It'd, 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 be, it'd be my luck that he crit. I'm like, ah, it bit me in half. Fuck. Right. I'm yeah. I'm fucking yeah. dead. Yeah. Do it. I'm in yeah, half. Really. Okay. Anyone else? Everybody good? Uh, I should probably buy uh, for one thing real quick. But. Okay. Because we're, we're going to move on to the next day yeah. where Krishna's going to fight the Displacer Beast. I have... See how he does. <laughs> yeah. I have, hey, Gerald. I have two potion healing cards. Well, it's the next day. We're sleeping, right? Yeah, I'm so sleeping on rest. Huh? Right? Um, I have two potion healing cards and a greater. I'm going to buy one more greater and one more potion healing. I'll mark it on one of these cards. Well, I have another potion of healing. I don't have... That I can tell offhand. I don't have another... We greater. have. I need to make some more. We well, have potion I have, healing, too. I have all these green cards, right? Am, but okay. Cool. For the, so for the most the part, I try to give you the greater healing the on the right that, that are there. on that one. Yeah. Tally. Just do a tally for that one for now. I got to I got to make more uh, potion greater healing cards. For uh, little level. A handful. Yeah. I I you know that's a thing that happens. So we're gonna go ahead unless anybody else has business. Nope. Okay. To the next day. Long rest. Everybody regains all hit points, spell slots, and half of any hit dice spent. Uh, which is, I think only Finn maybe has spent hit dice. So, uh, that would be... Azora, Azora just walked around all day, like, looking fucking cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. You got, you got four up. <laughs> yeah, four but up. Really did die. That's me. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean... That's good. Well, could Krishna fight before the end of this day? No. Oh. Because the beast fight already took place. Okay. Uh, with the owl bear. So. Cool. Yeah, it's one beast fight. I mean. And as you, many barbarian you fights can, as you want. You can fight gladiators. Or gladiators. Within reason all day. We should. Uh, uh, we should group <clears throat> some gladiators and some money that worth the bank. You could fight a gladiator today, make that money, and then fight another thing tomorrow, right? Well, that, that's why. If I look good enough after fighting this, I'll probably fight a gladiator too. Yeah. You should fight with the crew. And just because the motherfucker just keeps going we'll through, we'll farm it. Yeah. We'll do some more yeah. XP. Yeah. Fucking yeah. 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 down, down. Yeah. I get a world protection at level six. Yeah. Get some money for the bank. Yeah. Find out the fucking castle. <laughs> Start that way. Plus some magic armor, dude. <laughs> just we, be fucking. We're like level there. three, and we got a castle in that campaign. Yeah, but it was destroyed. It was. But we had it. It was there. We did have it for a time, and uh, Cy dropped so much cash into that place to get it renovated, and then it just got got wrecked. Tanked. 
Oh. Ugh, it's too bad. Anyway, Sorry, sorry I digress. Um, <laughs> next day rolls around, leaving 34 days uh, to resolve the murders. You're going to die. Uh, and they tend to save the, the beast fights like this uh, for a little bit later. So if you wanted to do any investigating today, you can, like as a group, before this fight takes place. Um, if you I'll want to, um, whoever the lead person is, uh, I'll need to roll with advantage because you're getting a lot of help. Um, you have, a, you have uh, investigations, it's like out there. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to, I think we should set people out to, um, I don't know, what should you guys speak with? Goblin blacksmiths who are old. Okay. Goblin blacksmiths. It's the hunch. So you now oh, you start asking around. Let let's start with finding them first. Uh, so go ahead and give me that. Totally roll. Nineteen. Total nineteen. Yes. Okay. Um, not as good. So you you walk around <coughs> talking to numerous people and come to find out in a big city like this a lot of goblin blacksmiths are pretty common like everywhere. um there's uh, there's a handful in Every most district. of the districts well we would be looking for uh, someone who would maybe collude with the higher class as well uh an old goblin blacksmith uh recently a widower ah like well, ask around. Okay. I ask. So, That's pretty on. <laughs> so that that <laughs> was that was a couple of hours of, of, of walking okay. around talking to people. Got a hunch. Um, give me an uh, one more. What's advantage? Let's see what you got. Uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three is better. Uh, there is, uh, and again, this is not like you're not staying in one district spending time walking around from district to district, asking around. Um, and, it, and it does turn out that there is a uh, older goblin in the slums who has relatively recently <laughs> lost his I would like to get over walk through time. That's not great. Okay. I'm not going to get it. But. <laughs> <laughs> um, they point you out like they kind of point you in, in the direction of the of his location. Um, and you you get there around two thirty ish in the afternoon. Yeah. Uh, and you've been at this for several hours. Walking around, talking to people. Can we assume it's the same group of <coughs> people? Huh? Should should is this the same day or the next day? This is the next morning. Okay. They don't have a lot of arena fights in the morning, okay. uh, just because people are working and all of that. So those tend to be in the evening. Okay. When they can bring in money. So I guess everyone's probably walking around with. So yeah, everyone oh, walking around together. Uh, Let's uh, give me some money real quick. Toss up in the air and stuff. Oh, like trying to perform? Yeah. Okay. Can yeah. we do a performance thing? Like in the streets? Yes. Yeah. Which Street district? The main one. <laughs> the rich one. The rich district. one. That would be the noble district. Yes. Okay. Uh, I did just win in the arena <laughs> yesterday. So while they go off investigating, you kind of just wander off. Like, what am I? I, I jump on his shoulder. I'm like, let's go do an adventure. Let's go. Yeah, let's go on an adventure. <laughs> yeah, let's go right. on an adventure. Okay. So <laughs> you you meander your way. Uh, Finn isn't great with directions. No, I'm just listening to him. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> he's probably uh, a master of them. It takes you a little bit longer to get over there, because uh, he's easily distracted <laughs> squirrel. by... by uh, I'm like, buddy, I'm wearing a squirrel. Said. I know, we no, talked about yes. this. Listen there. to me first. <laughs> but you make your way to the Noble District, right. um, and you find a relatively busy space, probably near the Sexy Badger. Did I get any it. sort of, like, belt or stupid hat for winning a fight in the arena? No. Okay. Just yeah. making sure. You got street cred. Uh, are you are you battling today? <sighs> I probably this evening, but okay. it's in the morning. We're really used to this. We got this. All right. So, I I, I want the basically yeah, one of the main areas, I guess. Um, 
I want to. I want to first be like normal height and uh, start, you know, trying to gather people around. I'll start talking him up. And I'll call him the champion. Uh, he fought yesterday. He's gonna fight again today, and we're gonna only show you only some of the things that you right now. And I'll, I'll start trying to gather people around, and then I enlarge as well. I'm uh -huh. like, you'll see things that you have never seen before. <clears throat> that does tend to. Uh, well, first, give me a performance check. Yes. And I'll give you advantage, all right. uh, because of your you know, Great announcement and all that fun stuff. All right. Twelve <laughs> plus I, you know, I really impressed them, and I just feel really good and lucky about this. Okay, so okay. you're going to use a luck point mm -hmm. to add a d6. D8 now. It's a d8. Oh, that's right. It's d8. D8 now. Cool. Oh, Leveled up. Two, so fourteen. Uh, and performance. Yeah. <coughs> uh, oh, it's a plus one. So, 15. 15. Okay. Uh, you you do bring... You kind of pull maybe 15 to 20 people. Standing around watching uh, us. All right. Who are mildly interested. You know, they're kind of like snooty, rich people. So... Uh, it's not like super exciting to them at this very moment, but we'll see what happens. What's your weapon? Great sword. Great sword. I have in my bag of holding, and you would have known this. Uh, I think two more great swords and a great axe. Okay. In case that's important. It may be. So what I want to happen is because I have my ring of jumping. Okay. Um, I do want to shrink down to my. Normal size. Oh, and we've done this multiple times where you like jump off of my hand. Yeah, <laughs> but it would be a little bit of a twist. Uh, I'm gonna jump off your sword. So instead of your hand. Uh, oh, I'm, nice. Okay. I'm gonna make you like your great sword's gonna be yep. out, and I'm gonna make you just toss baseball me, swing, but straight up in the air. Yeah. As like so, basically you're gonna bring it up. And while and at, as you know that you're going to jump as well. Yes. So basically, He's I'm gonna go flying. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. <laughs> Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Do you have feather fall? Like no, I don't have anything. No, you hit a great hard. So that's all right. But I'm feeling pretty lucky about this. Um, so uh, before we start this, I want to like try and rouse people in. I want to rouse people in, but also want to look around to see if there's like I don't know. Think of like Assassin's Creed. Like a building or something to jump to? Uh, something that you can throw me on. Uh, and if I do fall, something, I don't know, a okay. stack of hay. Yeah. Uh, there are no I stacks of hay in the Noble no. I can assure you of that. <laughs> but uh, there... Is it like a market district kind uh, of thing? Or? There, well, th that would be in the market hmm. district. Oh, I'll roll for it now. Huh? How about I'll roll for it to see what I see? Anything okay. Like? Sure. Perception check? Yeah, perception check. Yes. And I'm all about yes and. Yeah. So please, please do. When I feel lucky, I don't want to reroll that. So that's you mean you're gonna add a D8 to it? Oh, lucky as in your feet. Lucky yeah, feet. Uh, the feet. Okay. So okay. that's a reroll. That's one of three. Yeah. Okay. So much luck. Oh. So uh, is that not much better? <laughs> it, it is better. Good. Uh. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, 13. Uh, there aren't really any cloth overhangs here. Um, there are a handful of very sturdily constructed, like, overhangs, but they're not cloth. They're, like, stone and, um, you know, roofing, like, tiled and stuff. What like kind that. of buildings are around us? Like, how tall are they? Uh, Noble District. Uh, you're looking at most places are at least two stories, yeah. some are three. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, you're looking at twenty-five. I think it's pretty it's likely that you are going to land on top of one of these buildings. Good. So that's what we're. That's. Doing. So. Hard, it's hard well, to okay. Say. Let's see. It's hard to say though. <laughs> you're gonna, so you're aiming for the first thing that happens right. is Clank activates his ring of jumping, which casts, casts the jump spell on you. Yeah. Which you can do at any time, yeah. uh, which triples your jump distance and height, uh, which is very good. Now, at the same time, Finn holds his sword out. You kind of run along it, 
as in I were your, in your GI Joe size assless chap squirrel uh, squirrel, squirrel helmet. Yeah. Squirrel <laughs> helmet. <laughs> I'm thinking more of like uh, think of a more variant, but like yeah. squirrel. Yeah, no, I I'm with you. Yeah. I'm a mean looking squirrel. Hundred percent. Hundred percent with you. Uh, <laughs> so you run down the sword, and then Finn is going to swing up towards make, this building you pointed me to. Uh, give me an athletics check. Oh. If you're rolling uh, one, he's going to split you in half, are, son. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm going to rage this. You're going to rage so, for like, as advantage. You're like, rage? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll that with advantage, then. Uh, 17 plus uh, 8. Yeah. 25. 25. That's great. Dang. <laughs> uh, so, you go flying up into the air, and you're jumping as well. So give me an athletics check of your own. Okay. I can do that. What is your strength score? Uh, two. Plus two. 50. Plus two. 50. Okay. Got it. That's fine. Oh, I, I feel lucky again. My, my feet. And I'm going to re-roll that. Okay. Oh, I'm using them all right now. You know, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I, uh, I wish you were here, Josh. This this dice needs to get to the dice shell. Here. Oh, it's a nine at least. Yep, yeah, put that away. Give me another nine one. plus. Uh, two, so eleven. Eleven, alright. That's okay. okay. That's alright. That's better. Okay. Three you end up there. going a total of, uh, with his ridiculous strength. <laughs> um, and that's a that's a phenomenally good roll. Yeah. Uh, you end up with the jump going about forty feet up into the air. Perfect. Uh, now, as you're going Sending. up, are you going to like increase in size? Uh, or what what's what's the plan here? I don't know. I'm rolling with it. Um, <laughs> so I'm with you. So you have two great axes in your bag holding. Oh yeah. So oh, look, no, I have two great axes ready and two javelins ready, but. The rest is in the bag of holding. Okay. Oh, man, I don't want to do this. Because I'm 40 feet of mayor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm here. <laughs> you're rising. You're well, starting to, like, slow down to crash. All right. Uh, I'm going to aim for one of the top of the buildings. At least the, the land and, like, yeah. Uh, we'll say I'll grow to the next height. The normal size. Yeah, the normal, the normal size. size. And I'll, I want to land, on like, the building. on the building. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, you're gonna have to give me an acrobatics check with disadvantage. All right. Can I use a luck point, my actual luck point, to take one of those away? Make it normal. You can add a d8 to the lowest roll. Okay. okay. <coughs> you can spend a plot point, and I won't make you roll anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> So you spin your plot point. Yeah. I just, I just flip that coin out. Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> and you, uh, you, you are launched into the air, uh, and it looks like you're about to, like, now, since the plot miss, point, miss, miss the building. Yeah, like, I go up, say, like, this is the building. My guy's flying up. I want it to be, like, I, I like, spin and, and enlarge. And then, and then land, land facing like yep. this. Okay. All right. oh, Just I like think. looking. <laughs> yeah. All right. And you're you're about forty feet up. Yeah. Um, um <clears throat> I want you to throw your axes. My hand axe. Your hand right. axe into. Okay, so it's a it's a building. Yes. I, I guess there's it's wooden window stone. windows and stuff. There has, uh, there has to be the, some type of wood. The window panes, I'll I'll, I'll say, are wood. I want you but to they're make... not, you know, they're not really that easy to hit. Uh, so what would that take him? Distance. Wanting him to throw his well, axes we'll have to see what he rolls. We'll have to yeah. see what he rolls. <laughs> no, close windows. Uh, like, well, initially, what I'm hoping he, is he here. like throws his axe through the window. <laughs> <laughs> like someone had poked your head off. Okay. What, the fuck? <laughs> what I want you to kind of do, I, yeah. you can make it up yourself. Make me ways to jump off and. Grab onto each of your axes to come down. Make a pattern. Oh, so like okay. So, so you're aiming for then the first I aim for and like, the second floor like windows. A spot on the corner that's clearly in the wall, not gonna hit <coughs> stupid stuff. Okay. That he can drop down one, yeah. two. Kind of like, well, like. Let's see what you got. 
Strength check. Uh, throwing stuff is dexterity. Yeah. Not strength. Um, well, anyway, <laughs> I, I am still proficient in them. Yes, yes. You just don't get as big a bonus as you know strength. Yeah. Enemies. But you feel lucky. So I think javelins <laughs> use strength. Okay, then I'm using. Uh, well, javelins would do the same thing, wouldn't they? Functionally. Functionally. Oh, as far as or, what you're trying yeah. to do. So he says, "I need a way to get down to not yeah. hurt himself." I, I, so I actually yell. I got. I'm it. like, and now the champion will help me get down off the building. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually uh, pretty impressed, um, and you see a handful uh, of, of coins kind of tossed your way, right. which we'll get to that count once you're finished. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so give me, give me your throws. God damn it! Uh, five uh, and a nine uh, oh. plus eight. Are you? Awesome. You're you're recklessly throwing these? No. no, no. <laughs> no. Oh. I, oh. Just like just the two rolls. Throws. Okay. Uh, so five and a nine plus eight. Um, plus eight. So that's thirteen and seventeen. I'm gonna make I'm gonna okay. make a, a, a a luck on the. Uh, you are more. 30. Oh, what is your range for that? Uh, is it no 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 not your range. Thirty one twenty. What is your range? My for range. Your luck. Is, I think it's. I think it's thirty, 30 feet. It's You're 30. out of range. Well, oh yeah, he's forty feet up. Let me make sure he didn't at, go up. At or least forty okay. feet up. Okay. Fire uh, fluke. No. Uh-huh. We're well, kind of by this building right now. Here's, here, well, so the building is stationary and inanimate. Yeah. So you hit the building. <laughs> no uh, problem. The issue with the rolls is... Where? Uh, no, you hit where you were kind of looking for. Okay. But it may not be the sturdiest or, uh, mo- you know, as, as in there as you <laughs> as might hope. it should be. But it's in there, and you're welcome to now go down. <laughs> that was safe. All right. That was safe? Yeah, and let's do it. <clears throat> and you're going to... I'll catch you. Catch me. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so I'm going to actually... So, running... The first one was your 17, right? 13. Thir- okay. Yeah. Sweet. The higher one is, is the 13. All the right. lower one is the 17. As far as placement, not right. holes. So I do shrink down to my little size. After I'm done yelling and... You know, right. You're... Okay. Pump him up. Okay, gotcha. Uh, and then... For that first one, I attempt to fall down and kind of like. Not, so we'll say like I go over. I realize this one doesn't look as good, and I shimmy down, like initially, like I like you know when you put your feet down, like you're about to jump off a rock, and you're like judging it a little bit, I'm like that. But I'm initially still falling like nine feet, I guess. Can you just throw more? more? Yeah. Huh? Can you just throw more? <coughs> yeah, I guess two of them. Well, no, I, I have one more bag of holding. I oh, yeah? If you, I guess, I could throw some more. Yeah, kind of like a ladder type situation? Yep. Oh, I guess. I was thinking like every no. two feet. You're, gonna yeah, but you're small. You're, you know, you're, you're a tiny guy now. So, yeah. Um, now, you, so you, you kind of slide down the wall and you land on the first. Uh, Very sturdy. The first animal. javelin. Oh, it's a javelin. Oh, shit. Uh, so <laughs> I, did, I thought it was an axe. Oh. Give me a survival so saving throw. Oh, damn. <laughs> All right. As you land on this thing, even at your small size, it wasn't in there very well because it's like a stone building. Yeah. Uh, and, it, and it, like, and falls. Or right. dexterity. Good deal. Uh, 17. 17 is pretty good. Uh, so you manage to... As it sort of dips down, you manage to like slide down the uh, javelin, so it's kind of cool looking, and, and land on the other one below. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So um, now we're and then you can jump down. Give me as as you actually. Land, so how far on, away is the as as you land on the on on the second one, which is about fifteen ish feet lower? Uh, give me an acrobatics check to see if you can maintain balance on this thing. All right. Uh, 12. Uh, 12. 12. 12. Uh, because of your size, I will say that that is that's going to be okay. You kind of wobble a little bit, but you're you're Drown able it. to to 
How far away fall. am I off the, the bottom javelin to where he's you at? You are about 15 more feet to the ground. Okay. So, so I'll, like, I'll I want to land 10 more feet yeah. to I want to land shoulder. shoulder. <laughs> yeah, so I want to land in shoulder. Try to do a perfect One more game. acrobatics check, my friend. All right. Can I help him? Like, it is my shoulder. Um. Yeah, yeah, he would kind of... You can, which will give him advantage. Okay, cool. Seventeen plus uh, one, three, three, so yeah, cool. twenty, dirty twenty. Nice. Okay. He uh, does like a flip onto it. Yeah, I want to be like, like basically how I got on there. I want to just yeah. like bounce, flip, and, and land on the shoulder. Yeah, very nice. Uh, you actually get kind of smattering of claps. <laughs> and then I'm gonna say, <laughs> see us later. No, yeah, Mr. claps. And I'll say, see us later at the arena for round two. Round two. Round two. Today. Oh, and and I, I make sure before he runs away. I'm not running. Like I'm doing whatever. I'm talking to you. Okay. I'm going to be like round two. Then take the fuck off. Yeah. So. Yeah. He uh, just like runs for the arena. Yeah. That, do, that's hilarious. Yeah. I do want to gather the money that we. Earn. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you managed to scrounge up a um, hundred white. Oh, okay. Sweet. Because they're wealthy noble people. Now who's gonna pay for the damage that they did to the house? And then we leave. <laughs> I just and then, like, stuff. we'll say that like maybe 20 minutes later, the owner of the building like steps out and looks up and is like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh, it was amazing. And then just walk away. That's, that's hilarious. Well, like the crowd's already dispersed and yeah. nobody that's there at that point really knows what's going on. And it's like, I don't it's like know. A bunch of javelins. It's like two javelins inside of the house. We all, we're only one. The other one kind of fell to the ground. How much, uh... <clears throat> Might be, uh, you can just put that in the bank. Well, I might need it for repairs. Take it. Take yeah. it all. Right. You probably will need it for repairs. You can repairs. have all of it. Uh, next. Next. Yeah. We'll, we'll kind of flash forward a bit to the evening. It's combat. You're going down, motherfucker. I'm going to eat it when he's dead. I'm going to eat his combat. heart. And we have Krishna <laughs> against <laughs> the Displacer Beast. Da, da, da. Where is my... What is that? Is there a picture of it? There it is. Yeah, it's a pretty cool picture. Ass also is terrifying. It has like eight legs. Oh my gosh. And tentacly things. It has six legs. Six legs, right. Like a basilisk. I need to re-glue that book. You say that every time you open it up. <laughs> yeah, I know. I keep forgetting to do it. I could probably send it to Wizards and they'll send me a new one, but I just might as well. I, just, I have super glue, so it's no big deal. Super glue? Super glue is magic. <laughs> what? You're on hold with me? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not taking you. All right. Um, my dungeon. Neighborino. Huh? Neighborino. Neighborino. Krishna. Let's roll some initiative. Yes, I'm sorry. That's not good. What is the dexterity of the dispenser beast? Apparently, it's 1.8 terabytes of data last month. I was reading about it. Oh. Okay. That's nuts. The average 2 is. 2.5 terabytes a month. That's stupid. Okay. <laughs> and they haven't been like, why? What is your initiative? Thirteen. Thirteen. You go first. So javelins can be thrown 120 feet. Is that it? Okay. Uh, technically, yes. Uh, you don't have the sharpshooter feet, so throwing it that far would be at disadvantage. Uh, you can't do double disadvantage, huh? Hmm. Well, no. I mean, you would just have disadvantage. I mean, you have disadvantage anyway, so might as well go for it, I guess. If you're Trying to chuck javelins. Well, yeah. Well, I'll I'll cast um, shield of faith and then <laughs> throw a couple of javelins at them. And if they hit, they hit. If not, then the motherfucker's still gonna get to me next turn. Fair enough. All right. All right. First one. So valve enemy is not on him yet. So that'll still be. No. I think you gotta be closer for that. All right. So four um, plus eight, twelve on the first one. Nope. Oh wait, I'm close enough to use a lock point on, right? You don't have to. Uh, 
Uh, it's okay. You save him. Well, no, I guess it's later in the minute. I don't know. Whatever. You can. Because I mean, by now, like, I'm back with him. And I'm just like... Well, you you wouldn't be that close to the door. Uh, I got the boys back and, behind him. I'm like, woo! No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want to be out there and assist, then yes. But otherwise, no. no. Yeah. I was waving at you. That was one. Yeah. All right, second attack, uh, 17. Yeah. 17 will hit. Excellent, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right, so does this get a strength bonus for the damage? Does that add to the damage? It just a strength bonus, and that's all. Yeah. Okay. So, Ooh. 10 points. 10 points. Bitch. Nice. nice. Okay. Uh, it is going to move... It's gonna to have to double move. I'm thinking. Right. It's more than it's more than 40 feet away. Uh, go ahead and double move that guy up there to you. Is it large? Yeah. Damn. It is. Yeah. Actually, that's that's uh, one one more up. Other levels. Okay. Yeah. No, it was yes. like Is what there a distance on Harriet being able to speak to beasts? But with the way like they're as far as <laughs> I mean, so long as they can hear you. Oh but this is not a beast. Oh, it's <laughs> not. No. This is they, a. You're going to get uh, range stuff. Trust yeah. well, okay. it. Well, my melee, I'll just have. I was thinking yeah. maybe Harriet yeah. could right. talk to it to distract yep. it. But. This is a monstrosity. So um, is, is it count as a creature? Like, well, it's a creature. It's just not a beast. So uh, a thunderous smile will knock it prone, then. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. It, feels the same it can. Yeah. yeah. It does All right. Cool. That's a save. All right. Um, That's all I can do is move up. I can, can attack. Can I? Yeah. Can I do yeah. thunder smite and use his smite on top of each other? Can those stack? Um, it depends on so. It's kind of action economy. Um, smite is usually like a bonus action kind of a thing. Uh, it's part of the attack. That, yeah, that's what it's, it's, yeah. Smite can be added at any time after, before or after the roll. It's not counted as a bonus action. It's part gotcha. Of the attack. But you probably can't stack smites. No, you can only do one smite. Yeah. Per, you can do as many. If you have two attacks, you can do two smites. Yeah. So you can smite each hit. Right, but not smite and thunder smite since thunder smite is a spell. Right. Uh, no, that, that actually does work. What is the casting time of thunder smite? It's a bonus, bonus action. action. Then yes, you can. Sweet. I'm gonna smite him. That's fucking thunder smite. Heinous. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. All right. Uh, first, let's see if you hit. You do our, our disadvantage. Yeah, shit. Because <clears throat> it has a blurry. It's blurry. I might have to. Well. It's very... I'll do that next turn. This turn, I'll cast Valve in the Enmity. Which gives you advantage. Right. Which makes it a straight roll. Nice. Oh, yeah. So, like, 24. Yeah, 24 <laughs> definitely hits. Nice. Yeah. With the level 2 24 smart. almost hits a Terra. <laughs> but it has, you know, that's it. That's about your hit points. Yeah. All right, so 11, <clears throat> 13, 18 points of damage. 18 points of damage for the first hit. Right. Okay. Second hit. This is not going to be a long fight. You can smile but not, right? 11, uh, 18. Oh, yeah, that, that hits too. Level armor class is 13. Another level 2 smite. Do it. 11, 12, um, plus... Five, 17 <coughs> points of damage. 17? Right. Very good. 17. Wow. Well, it's hurting pretty good. Nice. Okay, let's see what it's got. 24. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's, uh, let's see what happens. Nope. Nope. That was a uh, 15 total and a 20 total. Yes, son. Yeah. 
it hits you, but it hits like the plate or the right. shield, and and there's no Deflects. there's no effect on you. So it's your turn now. All right, so I'm going down. <laughs> you. Now I'm gonna hit him with um, thunder smite and love to smite a pink guy. Well, no, I'm out of level twos. Uh, wow, this is like wrecked. All right, so yeah, nine hits. plus seven is uh, sixteen. Yep. Hits. All right. Thunder smite, and you'll have to um, <coughs> save. I think it's a strength save, or not be, be not prone. Wait, what is it? I think you have to make a strength save or be not prone. That is uh, twenty-two on the strength check, so I'm pretty sure it's good on that. Um, twenty-three points of damage. Twenty-three points of damage. Dang. Was that? That was the first time I was to another attack. Yes. Mm. Yes. Brutal. <laughs> Paladins are, are pretty nasty. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're great. So I'm going to also. Combat. I'm going to do another uh, Thunder Smite, smite and <laughs> Loving Ice Smite. I'm just going to wreck the Smite. Yeah. Body. It's about that group fight. <laughs> well, Thunder Smite, so, isn't that concentration? 14. Mm. Yes, it is a concentration spell, but it, it, as soon as it's used the first time... Oh, it goes uh, away. It ends. Gotcha. 19 points of damage. And I have to make a strength save. Right. Which is a 14. What's the DC? I think it's a DC 10. You said how much damage? Um, 19 points of damage. 19. Man, oh man. That's not cool. Yeah. Ah. Oh, what? I actually hit you. Through. Oh yeah. <laughs> I rolled a nineteen. Wow. Which is a twenty-five. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he just got through. Which is well. What's your charisma modifier? It's plus three. <coughs> so eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 would be your normal DC. Ah. So it passed. Cool. But it's 14? Just barely, oh, but yeah. it passed. Okay. So yeah, 14 yeah. is your... So okay. 8 okay. plus proficiency plus charisma. Whatever your proficiency and charisma is, plus 8. Nice. Okay. You will take 14 points of damage <laughs> from the hit. <laughs> it's a flesh wound. Uh, which, yeah. No one makes me do that. That's okay. kind of crazy. <laughs> okay, proceed. With the beat down. With the beat down, indeed. Alright, so 14 plus 7, 21. Yeah. <clears throat> now, okay. When you hit it the first time, and I'm sorry I wasn't doing this, uh, at, at, at the top of it, it's round. Its blurriness sort of kicks back in, or its displacement does. When you hit it, it's disrupted for the rest of the turn, so the second attack will have advantage. You can, ah. see, you can see if you can roll a natural 20 or something, so if you can roll 2d20s for this one, take the higher. Excellent. Uh, so go ahead and do that for the second attack. Okay. So the first attack, there's 12 points of damage dealt. Any more smites? Nope. Uh, the second one hits. Okay. Doing 6 points of damage. Six. Okay. It is hurting real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Mistakes were made. Hurting real bad. That's a one and a nine. <laughs> he bit okay. itself. Well, let's see. <laughs> let's see what the percentile dice. Will one tell on me. one. Wait, I have both of those here. Let's, do these. let's see. 75, okay, it's just a mess, just a mess, all right. Now, uh, so it misses you twice. It's cool. getting a little scared and annoyed. It should be. Uh, as you continue to wreck it, she has. <laughs> <laughs> this is an annoyance. Yeah. I'm dying, this sucks. Yeah. First attack is a uh, 13. I don't 13 just barely hits. Ooh, AC is 13. Yeah. Poke ass motherfucker. <laughs> um, 11 points of damage on that one. 
Okay. Second one hits. Twelve points of damage. Yo, son. How you wanna do this? I Let's see. He is dead. This is like crowd's crazy. like. Oh, it only oh, hit you. Oh, oh god. god. Like, <laughs> He's killing the me. The crowd actually was starting. Uh, was like, was like starting to get a little bit bored. And was like, come on, just finish the stupid thing off. <laughs> uh, and you do. Some motherfuckers, he's bombing, and, and we even try to be all tricky, and then he goes right into the sword and clove his fucking dome piece in half. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. You get a nice spray of, of right. gore upon you. Um, it collapses. Miss that, bitch. <laughs> and, of course, the he's so calls he's so you out. Um, as you are stepping out from the arena, because um, this is like the like second day, uh, Officer Linus is in the Bloodworks when you kind of arrive, and he's looking, he's like, nobody else, who else is down there? Some of you went up to watch the fight. Oh yeah, I would have watched the fight. Yeah, I would have watched it. Uh, so, oh, no, we, we, would, so yeah, we would be there. Just, yeah. Yeah. just, uh, soon, but... it's just you down there right now, and, and he's kind of looking around, he says, uh, Krishna. Where, where's everybody else? They're and watching the fight, I imagine. There's, there, 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 there's another um, uh, individual, a, a, a human individual behind him in the like guard gear, like Lance says. Uh, he says Just uh, not rotund. <laughs> well, you need to get him because there's been another murder. Well, it's, we gotta go. Okay. It's by the sexy badger. We'll attend to this immediately. Good. We're we're heading there now. This is uh, this is Dirk Wolfkin. <laughs> by the way, Dirk. he's he's new. Dirk Diggler. You gotta talk like uh, what's his name? Boom hour. Yeah. Like, a, like a less for term. Dirk. Oh god, <laughs> I can't do it, man. <laughs> Or just grunt. Just, it's hard. It's just real keep hard. the lips shut while you're talking. Yeah. And make him <laughs> always say something know, yeah. and just like not say it. Like make him be yeah. like if, even if you don't actually say it. I'm no. Just <laughs> uh, Dirk kind of nods to you. All right, let's go. <laughs> right. Does Does Dirk have a holistic executive agency? No. He does not. He is a new recruit in the police force. Uh, but I appreciate the reference. Uh, it's a good reference. It is. <laughs> <coughs> so you, you, uh, I guess, r- rush up to the stands where where you kind of saw them sitting when you left the arena. Uh, and they're, I would imagine, congratulatory. And, you know, by the way, uh, you did win 300, 300 white, which nice. is a Which... Uh, the shield. Battlemaster uh, Grimmsquill will hand you. Because they make way more than that from people coming in buying drinks and all that fun all stuff. All the other like, stadium like, things. There's a bunch. I mean, Money being spent every night. It's like <laughs> one white rock had to go watch the fights, and there's, you know, 20, 30,000 people. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous how much money they make. Hands, hand over fist. Uh, which is good for them. Good for them. <clears throat> so. They're there. Awesome. All right, crew. Got to roll. Got a crime to solve. Scooby Doo and shit. Oh, ask on. <laughs> Scooby Doo and shit. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. Um, it's a mystery. You told them nothing. You're just like, come on, let's go. Scooby Doo and shit. I'm like, what? We can't. <laughs> yeah, no question. Like right that. Who is the Scooby Doo? I just killed a blink beast like nothing. Is he a suspect? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. He's giving you. So you. Do you follow him with that minimal information that he gave you? Yeah. I mean. Might as well. I've done it better than you. That's, that's yeah. fair. He's yeah. leaving. Down the party. Um, yeah. Alright. 
You make your way to the Sexy Badger in the Noble District, uh, where in the alley, in the kind of shadowy alley, uh, you find Count Bunkirk. Count Bunkirk. And he is himself. Shrek. Uh, son of a bitch. Uh, his clothes in tatters. Um, Lady Bunkirk die. First Officer time. Linus and Wolfkin are there. And there are a handful of others as well. Um, mm. You see one or two members of Penumbra, because they're right, it's like right by the sexy badger. Um, Kane is not there. You don't see him there at all. Um, and they're kind of looking around uh, the place, doing their own investigating. Uh, what would you like to do? I'd like to go search the Bunkirk Manor. You just leave the crime scene? You don't want to search the crime scene at all? I'm, all right, I'll search the crime scene. I'm just asking. <laughs> it's up to you. What was um, he doing here? Like, like are people so like you people, know. He's patrons just, from the Sexy Badger just then is, is he in the middle of the bar or is he up in a room? <laughs> He's in the he's alley. In the alley. Oh, he's outside. in the alley. He's in the alley, alley outside. But, the there, but there's people standing around being like, man, that motherfucker got killed. Who found him? There are a handful of like passersby who were kind of like rubbernecking, kind of looking to see what happened. Who found him? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a good question. Yep. Ooh. Who do you ask that to? Ooh. The police, because they would know. The, the bums. Police. Linus? Yeah, he would know, I guess. Well, that's true. Mr. Uh, well, uh, one of the patrons... Sweet. Who was drunk? Mm-hmm. Came out to the alley to go pee. Yep. I guess. Uh, that's that's he, it, like he kind of points over near the uh, the like side door in the sexy badger, and there's like a pile of uh, sick there. Nice. Uh, not. Yeah, it's not too pleasant. Like well, that. We're in the noble uh, district. He, he saw the body, and then he you know did that course, and then he rushed in to tell people, and then they got where he was, uh, and we're here doing some investigating. Are there any I wanna, he's lying. <laughs> but, I wanna, it's all I wanna persuade him to go up and taste the vomit. Ah! You wanna persuade <laughs> Finn to, yeah, to, to, be to like, taste the vomit? To see if he can, I'll be like, hey, we need to tell well, the time of death. That's and you can make a persuasion <laughs> check. You make a persuasion <laughs> check. Insight? And, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> There's a specific DC I have in mind because that's super gross. Yeah. yeah. And he probably does not want to do that. He so know. you better roll high. I'm going to make sure it's a good idea. <laughs> what is this? What am I using? Persuasion. Persuasion. <laughs> I'm going to say you have disadvantage. What? If you're telling me to eat vomit. It's intelligence. It's hey, man, six. go eat that shit. But he knows what vomit is. Yeah. It's not that stupid. <laughs> 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 All right, this is He's close, but he's not that stupid. Uh, nine. No. No? You don't need to vomit? Alright. <laughs> like, never mind. Don't do that. <laughs> Damn. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, again, if you want to investigate the crime scene, yes. well, I need uh, give me an investigation check with, because you're getting help, I would imagine, from other people, yeah. uh, advantage. Not for me. Look at the clues. <laughs> You're just hanging out. Yeah. You're just like... You're doing whatever hell you want. What did you do? I just hit my dice. You're like... Buh. Goodness gracious. That's a 26. Yeah, nice. 26. Dang. It's That's good. Plus I feel things. like you're in one of those like, detective games. Uh, where you just hit you and you see everything. <laughs> oh, here you go. Look at this clue. Okay. It's a clue on the wall. <laughs> it's a clue on the wall. <laughs> Underneath... Some of the remains. It's a clue under the bottom. You kind of like, <laughs> yeah. Put put your shades on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. um, there is a very bloody note. Uh, would you pick up? Pretzels. <laughs> no. It says the following. Meet me at the Badger. I have news about your wife's killer. Ooh. There either is no signature, or there is too much blood to make it out. It's unclear. Um, underneath, like, 
further investigating, uh, and you have experience handling meat. <laughs> you do. Yeah, uh, you do. <laughs> he likes that meat. Not in that context, perhaps, <laughs> but uh, you are able to uh, kind of shift the body around so that it sort of maintains as much integrity as it has. Um, and you find a holy symbol. Again, um, it is the holy symbol of Palerva, the goddess of wisdom and commerce, showing the scales with coins piled on either side. And this time, unlike some of the other times, it seems to be more hastily done, and there is a trail. There's a blood trail. It's faint, uh, and and, it, and it's 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 almost hard. It, it, it's almost impossible to notice at first, but you you manage to pick up on it. Once you know it's there, it's actually reasonably easy to follow. Uh, if you want to give me a survival check. You can. Wisdom? What's your wisdom? Can I do it? I'm proficient at it. Wisdom you can. Yeah. Yeah, we'll find it. He, he can point it out. Quetzal can point it out, oh, yeah, yeah. and then you guys can, can kind of proceed. From yeah, there. we have a ranger, by the way. There is a ranger, yes, who's oh. very good at tracking things. Yeah, I'm plus seven. That's Harriet. Oh, that's oh what are you at? Survival? What? Your survival. Plus six. Okay, so you should do it. Okay. Uh, it's uh, 16. 16 is going to be enough. Uh, the trail leads to a nearby sewer grate. Damn. Can I get the sense real quick and buy some Sherlock Holmes clothes? <laughs> no. Can I roll just to see if I can find in the Sherlock trash can? <laughs> just there so it happens to be like, like the, the, the hat. hat. You've already spent, spent your plot point. But Quetzal can spend his if he wants to. To find a Sherlock Holmes hat? I will. All right. <laughs> yeah, please find a Sherlock Holmes yeah. hat. Yeah, so the you're like wandering, uh, you're, you're kind of following along this trail down this alley, uh, and there there are several dumpsters here. Um, and like setting seemingly very randomly uh, <laughs> on top of one of the bags in the dumpster is a pretty clean Sherlock Holmes hat. Is there like a pipe right underneath the <laughs> Oh, there has to be a pipe. Like the same hand. <laughs> and there's a pipe right underneath All right. it. That <laughs> blows bubbles. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to take off my chef hat and put on the, the Sherlock Holmes hat. The, okay. pipe, the pipe hanging from my beak. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Blow bubbles. That's amazing. That's so great. Well, you know this has to be part of your character now. <laughs> I'll switch it off when I'm investigating um, stuff. At this point, though, Just every time, you know, pulling the sewer grate cover and looking down in there, uh, there's no more trail. Are there any rats? Sewer well, animals? Of course, there's rats. Harry, it's, it's, it's the sewers. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. motherfucker! Yeah. Uh, squeak, squeak. There are squeak, squeak. there are rats. Yes. You see something coming? Uh, this is a pretty big city. That has relatively expansive sewers. Uh, there are, yeah, there are definitely rats. So, did you want to squeak? Sure. Squeak, squeak, or squeak, squeak, squeak it. Squeak, yes. Squeak, 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 squeak. Squeak them up. Yeah. Squeak, squeak them up. <laughs> so, Harriet, uh, gingerly. I mean, this is not a big sewer grate opening, but you can uh, kind of squeeze yourself through it. Uh, it's, a, it's a little, it's a little snug. Yeah. Kind of like Winnie the Pooh in the tree, <laughs> kind of a thing. It's like just the hole, just the, yeah. a little too snug. Uh, but you make your way down, and it's it's like you can stand up in the sewers. It's maybe ten feet high or so. Uh, so you, you know, it's real low for you, but it's you can stand up in it. And uh, the rats are scurrying over each other. There's quite a few, especially here where like the dumpsters and stuff are. Stuff tend, tends to mm -hmm. trickle down. Um, they're just up here. scurrying about. <laughs> you got shit on you. You don't see. There's not a lot of excrement in this section, uh, and it could be maybe that one of the cubes has passed through recently and cleaned it out, or what. Excellent. Uh, but it's it it smells. 
pretty bad, but it's not too bad. What do you think? <coughs> what questions are we asking? What do we want to know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who came through here? Has it seen any murderous what creatures came through here? Through? Have you seen Is there a goblin? What came through oh. here? Is there a goblin? Was it more than a goblin? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Goblin is something else. Because it would be carrying something, right? Or So I, I've, I've reiterated all of those questions. Yeah, so Every nice. single one of them. Okay, let's go one at a time here. Um, first question. What is it? First question is. Who's your daddy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Have you seen anyone come through? And Mike here points over to one of the other rats. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so have you seen any goblin or something bigger come through here? Yeah. Bigger is what you receive. Bigger than. Bigger. Goblin. Okay. Unusual. How long ago? What way? Did they go? What? Yes. How long How ago? How long ago? Where'd they go? Um, rats don't have a super great concept of time. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> rats! Um, and then... Like... What way? Three three pieces of garbage ago. <laughs> uh, okay. Do we need him to describe what it looked like, or...? What way did they go? Okay. Um... <laughs> yeah. They... I mean, they don't really know which way that, that it went. Um... Because number one, uh, the sewers are pretty labyrinthine. Yeah. Uh, just because. Oh, just because you go one up. way doesn't mean you went that way. Yeah. I mean, you can go. <coughs> can, uh, go down there and search for places. footprints. Or like markings. <coughs> there but are no it's markings. Clean. Yeah, it's it's very clean. It's, or at least it's clean enough. I mean, there's garbage and stuff in there, but. You don't see any any other signs mm. at all. Uh, I'm going to use echolocation like a bat does. You <laughs> are not a bat. <laughs> this so squat. <laughs> this is squat. You're running out of like sound <laughs> 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 I, I would say you try it anyways. <laughs> you eat, there's squat. a really loud <laughs> echoing squat. Uh, <laughs> Lin Linus kind of see, sees, sees you guys make your way further down the alley and he kind of tags along a little bit uh, behind. He kind of moves up and looks down in, in the sewers where just Harry is, I guess. Uh, he says, uh, you found anything? What are you guys over here for? Found the sewers. Want to come with Why? us? Why? It's for fun. You ever play in the sewers, dude? You ever just go around here and hang out? No, no, it's fine. If you just murdered somebody, What's the, what's the quickest way out of here? The sewer. Oh, well, I guess that's true. Found a blood trail. Come yeah. to the sewers. Oh. Into it. Blood trail? Yeah. That's a, that's a first. Yeah. Never seen that yet. Okay. You like my hat? My uh, <laughs> 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 oh, beat you down! I blow like some bubbles on my fight. I do like your hat. <laughs> you found that. Where'd you find that? In the trash. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> so, you just got a blood trail, that's it? Yep. Nope, nothing else. Oh, oh. and. Nope. It's bigger than a. We did find the, uh. Well, the holy no symbol bad. of. <laughs> oh, fuck riddle. you! <laughs> that's the cop you! <laughs> <laughs> well, then, no! We don't know anything! <laughs> we did find a note. No! Oh, everybody! Yeah. A holy symbol of Polarbo. Polarbo. P-A-L-L-E-R-B-O. I'm not going to take the time to write that down. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to say Polarbo and we'll understand. Right. <laughs> you, you mean Polarbo? Yeah, that one. That's, that's the... Polarbo. That's who Kara follows. Oh. Like she works at the temple. She's a healer there. And then there was a note that Lord, Lord Count Dunker is <laughs> right <laughs> to, to the sexy badger in the first place. Just says, "Hey, come, come, sexy badger. Like we yeah. have cookies or something." It was like it said more information about your, your dead wife. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Do you recognize his handwriting? I show him that. No. no. Wait. Is it yours? I don't know. Let me see if he recognizes. Is it your handwriting? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> nice paper. No. 
but this holy symbol is, is tied in with that temple. So okay. maybe we ought to go over there and see why is it here? I mean, I don't know that yeah. he could have been a follower, I guess, but I don't know. You can check that out. But also, we do Plus, know that the monster we need, went into the sewer. We need to bring the body to get questions, too. Speak with dead. Yeah. Can any of you speak with dead? No. I can't talk to dead. Malcolm, can your character speak with dead? I do not have that to be in its mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to take it to a cleric, man. Okay. Um, so let me just search the sewers. Yeah. No, quick question. These sewers, <clears throat> they go everywhere. So Throughout the city, yeah. So it's actually pretty good to get around if the thing is bigger. It up. is a handy way to get around. So yes. we know that it goes by the sewers. We have no trail. Alright, we'll give you a clear. Okay. Almost like it's a fast travel system in the city. Uh, <laughs> like Assassin's Creed. Like an Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Uh, that's that's uh, an interesting idea, but it's no. not how it works. You go to the temple. Now, the temple is in the market district, uh, being the goddess of commerce, after all. Uh, you enter into an alabaster building, very well kept, uh, smooth marble tiles. There are pews, Pew. but uh, it's not really a place where a lot of like sermon type things happen. Uh, they do occasionally, but it's not very frequent. Okay. And uh, you do not see Kara anywhere visible, like when you first walk in okay. at the uh, sort of like altery type space where there are a handful of coins and stuff uh, <clears throat> is a human male it's an older gentleman has a uh, little stubble he hasn't shaved in a few days and he appears to be humming a, humming a light tune as he cleans Clean some of the scales, some of the Draka. So who's this guy? He's a cleric. Like he is clearly church. in clerical vestiges as well. He has the seems the, suspicious. The, the rose. <laughs> seems Slap suspicious. whatever he has. Like he's clearly a religious man. Like, hey, <laughs> back up! Just immediately go back up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> you do <laughs> it. You do it. <laughs> 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 You know, there. I mean, there are a couple of other non-cleric people just kind of meandering about. Um, Can you investigate the temple for anything suspicious, like that's out of place? Sure. Give me an insight. Or... Insight. No investigation. No insight. No investigation. Investigation. Can I give her? Is when you're like. Can I? It's can not I help the same. Him? It's, it's not what you're trying to do here. Investigate. Can I? Can I help him? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry, advantage? Yeah. Help action is feasible for most skills. 19. Straight 19? Straight 19. Come on, man. That's a good one. Yeah, Nothing to seems to be in this in any way. Okay. So this is uh, normal. Normal. Church place. All good. Are there chambermaids or anything like that? Chambermaid? Like, like cleaner? Like janitorial staff? Like, like folks that are there but aren't like super into it, into the gig, you know? Uh, you but see, you see a couple uh, of people like, almost like stalking around, like they're kind of casing the place, looking to see if there are, are, are any like security holes, like where where they can uh, try, because this is where a fair amount of money to change his hands it's here. <laughs> it's, it's like it's the temple of commerce, essentially. Uh, and they're, up, I mean, really, other than the, the coins on the altar that are that are being cleaned by uh, this this human cleric guy, uh, there's not really a lot that appears to be. It's, it's very Spartan, like, 
like there's not a lot of not stuff, here. a lot of stuff about it. There's a couple of, of, of precious metal like sconces attached to the walls, maybe, but it's not. It's attached to the wall, like you'd have to apply some degree of force to get it open or out or off, you know. Can I ask the dude where Kara is? You can. Where's she at? So you you approach uh, the gentleman. He's he's facing away from the entrance, uh, and when you get closer, he kind of hears hears your footsteps. Uh, he st- starts a little bit, but it's not too crazy. And he turns around. She's uh, yes. May I help you? Yeah, uh, we're looking for Kara. Kara, uh, tree leaf. Yes. She's, uh, she's not in. Um, you know one of her, it? one of her compatriots, uh, came and spoke with her and, and they left in some degree of hurry. Hmm. what does this compatriot look like? Uh, he <laughs> was a... Who's he been? <laughs> he was human. He was uh, taller, muscular. Mm-hmm. He was wearing. Uh, it seemed like he was a guard, a member of the, the guard. Oh. They uh, cut it off together. Did uh, you happen to get his name? No, I, I do not know who he is. But I do know. Uh, that they, they made me go into her house. Ooh. I, I don't know if it's for, obviously I don't know if it's for any purposes that he uses mood for. <laughs> uh, but, it may not be the word. Um, if, if, if it is urgent, I can provide you with her location, her address. It is her urgent, yes. Address. It's uh, you get the address and uh, it's in the residential district. Okay. Which makes sense. <laughs> so, He's a shitty co-worker. We go there? giving out our address to random everything. strangers. <laughs> like, I'm, just, I'm just a bird dude walks in after this lady. This is me I am. I'm the credentials. They'll twitch the shit. So yeah, we, we, the we, we kind of uh, <laughs> skip over the part where you showcase that you're the free regiment. Okay. Uh, which and your pipe and hat. Which gives you Detective Birdman. It keeps sliding. Thank you. Oh, I, I don't know. It keeps hitting that. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's all good. Yeah. Is it okay. good right now? Uh-huh. Okay. So we, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're good. we should go find her. Okay. Also, where is uh, Mr. Wiener at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, Mr. Wiener. Oh, sorry, Officer Wiener, <laughs> Detective Wiener. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> she was like, thanks. Uh, here's my information. Uh, okay, oh, never mind. His last name is Wiener? No. <laughs> I've said I don't know. too much. I don't know of uh, anyone with that last name. That would be most unfortunate. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for your time. Yes. Hey, I had a cousin with the last name of Wiener. The very respected name. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. As it may, uh, it likely brings upon itself uh, a fair amount of humorous Because <laughs> your name's Wiener. You should be ashamed of yourself for laughing at anyone with that last name. It's a great family. I don't believe I laugh at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's very straight faced. I was, I was just saying him? that it is unfortunate uh, that it happens. Your face is unfortunate. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> that he, stung his okay. Head. He, he returns to <laughs> doing what he was doing. Uh, <laughs> and buckers. proceeds to ignore you the rest of the time. Where's Officer Lance at? Uh, he, he stayed to uh, help like gather and move the body and gather Get up further. Get the body to the house. house. Why would he take it to the house? That's where uh, she was heading. To how did he know? How did he know she was heading there? They're not taking Ooh. it to the house. What, uh, what, the body? It's Mr. Wiener. He's the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> in the study with a candle. All yeah. right. We should go to her house. She might be in danger. Okay. 
Someone so it takes you about, now it's getting, because it was evening already, it's getting to be a little bit later, like around eight-ish, and you arrive. Uh, this address, this house, is a little bit run down. Uh, like it's, it's, it has some degree of disrepair. Um, not anything like crazy, like like an abandoned house, but you can tell that uh, it hasn't been shown appropriate repairs in several years. It's like it's like you see some vines growing up, and uh, there's some there's some light damage, like around the windows. Can you give me a fake thing. address? Um, she not live here. And you notice as well, unlike all the other houses on this particular uh, this particular space, the door is very slightly ajar. You suspicious. So you can do a trap. All right, let's do it. It's a trap. Just rush in. Yeah. You know how we do. We ready. Okay. Uh, there the are two <laughs> floors. There's, there's obviously the, the, there's a lower floor and upper floor. Uh, the sort of front door that is open slightly leads into a uh, sort of foyer type space that has uh, stairs immediately kind of to the right going up. And there's a hallway and there's a couple of door spaces. Are there signs uh, of struggle? I'd like All right, gang, let's I'd like to use my echolocation <laughs> again. Nope. Uh, <laughs> it's time to work. <laughs> I am generally all for yes and, but you're not blind in that location. It would just be you calling real loud in the house. Like an asshole. Uh, actually, yeah. Because, sure. this, like, pretend that I have that location. This is our, <laughs> you make this proud this our retarded friend. Uh, this is what you can give me. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> To make a uh, performance check, uh, long <laughs> story short here, um, the upper floor, like none of this, because this is a house that's lived in regularly, so like nothing super trapped, nothing's, nothing interiorly is really all that locked. Um, the upper floor is going to be, uh, there's a couple of bedrooms and a bathroom. Do you hear any noises? Um, see any you lights? don't hear. I mean, it's there, there are a handful of creaks as, as you like walk up the stairs, and some of the, the, the floorboards uh, make noise just from their age. Just clearly an old house. Um, give me. Okay, let me let me kind of finish this first. The bottom floor uh, is kind of the other dwelling rooms. Living room, kitchen, dining room, uh, kind of spaces. Uh, nothing really seems to be super out of place. The only thing that is uh, give me investigation checks. Yeah. Anybody that wants to investigate. I want to get the shot. Do it. Love it. Roll. 17. 11. 19. 19, nice. 19? Yeah, she got a 19. Roll, roll a d20. Okay. 4. It's a okay. 4. It's probably not going to be good. <laughs> no. That. You don't, yeah, that's no. not going to be good. Uh, she got 19. 19? Okay. Uh, Zora and Mal. Mal. As you are investigating the lower floor, right, um, a couple of things of particular interest come to light. One is that, strangely, there's no food in the house. Like, none. Not even, like, travel rations. Mm. Nothing. Uh, which, which is a little strange. And uh, number two... Um, you can see in the dining room uh, a lot of scuff marks in the in the floorboarding where the table has been moved around a lot. Move the table. Are we able to like 
figure out which way it's been moved by the scuff marks? Uh, yes. It appears to be kind of like pushed up against the like one of the walls away from the, the two entrances into the night. Pull it away from the wall? No, it's it's not against the wall. It, ah. is, it is pushed. It's in the middle of the room where it should be. Yeah. So we should uh, push it to the wall. Right. To the windows. <laughs> so you tell me to push it to the wall. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. You don't even have to roll for that. It's just a table. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you you roll to not break. <laughs> yeah. So you like, don't just like break. Like just like one hand and just like yeah. And uh, underneath the table, there is the faint outline of a table. Of a table. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Of a uh, Wow. No. Uh, of a uh, of a trap door. Yep. Oh, Surprised Michael looked at me and picked that up. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> he said, I'm surprised my echolocation didn't pick that up. <laughs> it's not like Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like where you see all 3D and shit. That's, that's how, that's how uh, I imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can see everything from walls. Did you find a trap door? Sweet. Uh, yeah, I found a trap door. Yeah, there's a trap door. Yeah, there's a trap door. Kara has trustworthy as we were led to believe. But she's so pretty, I've heard. <laughs> so, Ben, you, you just reach down and grab the... I mean, uh, assuming uh, someone told me to open it, like someone told me to push the table. Where's Anthony Weiner? He's not with you. Anthony I know, but he wasn't here. He didn't go to the church. Well, he did eventually go to the church. He had other things to do before that, though. He's a busy wiener. He's a busy wiener. He's a busy wiener. So he's he's not a suspect? Uh, well, that's up to you guys, really. I'm going to keep him on the suspect list. Just a a person of interest. Fair enough. Uh, The trap door is closed. Is it locked? Give me a perception check. Which one oh, that's right. That would be investigation. Give yeah, me an, an investigation check. Uh, so roll a d20. You add your, add your <laughs> investigation. Ten. Ten. Ten total. Uh, it does not appear to be locked or trapped. Cool. Let's open it. All right, I'll, I'll open it. Throw a grenade in there. Cool. <laughs> Where do I have this? <laughs> it opens up just yeah. fine. Cool. Uh, it does not <laughs> appear to be trapped. A trap uh, trap door. Problematic a in any way. Under the house, there's a couple of steps. There's maybe, well, I say a couple. There's, there's a flight of steps that go down uh, to a maybe 20, uh, 20 foot by 20 foot room. Small, I want to use a uh, divine sense. Dish room. Divine sense. Nice. Which does what now? You can detect uh, evil creatures, celestial beings within 60 feet, or if the place has been consecrated or desecrated, like with Hallow. Okay. Nice. Awesome. Uh, it has not been desecrated or hallowed. Um, but there is, as as, as you uh, know, you're doing this before, because you, you, like, you, you can see down. You and there are some like there's candlelight going on down there. Um, you sense uh, an undead entity. Ooh, my specialty. Down stairs. So to ring that motherfucker's bell. Let's say <laughs> celestial <laughs> fiend and undead in yep. sixty feet. You can definitely detect an undead. An undead <coughs> individual. All right, guys, we got a walker down there. <laughs> we got a walker. We got a walker down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I can location tells me that as well. <laughs> yeah. You call out. Okay. Good to know. Well, Thank really. you. I'm not trying to be stealthy. I'm like, I gotta find this stupid thing. I'm a detective. It's Demogorgon. No, I'm just kidding. You got to be so fucked if that was the case. Don't, don't fucking do that, man. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Demogorgon. Okay. You can tell it's down there. Um, does it give you the precise location? Or just general location? I think it's precise, actually. Let me go back out. Give me a second. 
You can know the location of any celestial undead. Okay, units. it is definitely oh, down there. That is not behind total cover. Uh, that's not behind total cover. Right. Oh. So, wait, 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 wait. I guess it, if it's like a tunnel, it appears like, uh, like an odor. Okay, so you would know where it was if it didn't have total cover. Right. But you would know that it is down there yeah. regardless. Okay. You definitely get, because you can't see it, you definitely get the faint. Uh, well, it's not really super faint, but you, you get the, the odor of the undead ness down there. So if you guys what you do? Uh, I guess we can. Just no one's going <laughs> down there yet. Throw a fucking fireball. Man. Throw some fire. Burn that. <laughs> let's, let's go <laughs> investigate first. Yeah. I, I do not. I am not able to fire. Let's mm. investigate. Yeah. Okay. Who's going down? I'll go down. I. I'm following the group. I'll take point. Everybody. So he takes into point. the hole. <laughs> I'll be right behind. I'll be last. Right behind him. With. Okay. Now. We'll go. Uh, a little bit longer here. You're either leading the way, just being stealthy, time. or you're going right. um, like, with everyone. I'm sorry, one line. more time. Who is everyone. going first? Krishna and then Quetzal. Yeah. Okay. I'll be close behind that. And I'm on his shoulder. Yeah. Krishna in first. Okay. Cool. Then All right. Malad and Harriet, or Malad and Crowley, then Harriet and Kirby in the back, unless he wanted to be closer. Whichever. Yeah. I think that Alchemist said he wanted to go last. Yeah, let's go back. Yeah. All right. Now, this is a relatively small room, so not everyone will be able to really fit. Uh, but oh. as soon as Krishna crosses the threshold from the stairs onto the, the sort of basement floor, um, a series of very long, bony claws lash out at you. Uh, and so don't actually grab on them because it's sweet plate armor. Well, That's we're what. about to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Clink, clink, clink. Oh, what? Oh, oh, my oh, my God. God. oh What's the chances? Oh. What? Uh, what, what point? Oh roll my that. God! Get the reroll that. Huh? You have to re-roll that. Two Which one? The There's two 20s? There's two both 20s. 20s. Yeah. I mean, I guess just one of them. <laughs> 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 but that's not gonna matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. Well, here we go. That's a 19. Wow. Wow. Plus 8. Holy shit. Okay, well, that's good in the sense that it's, you know, one, one less. One crit, one not crit. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a great place to end this session. Uh. Because we're just about out of time. Christian's laying on the ground. So <laughs> <laughs> much. Cliffhanger. <laughs> uh, wow. It's not going to do that much damage to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you're fine. Stay yeah. on the yeah. ground. <laughs> it's percent. Yeah, something. It might not be a lot of damage, but you may not be where you're standing anymore. <laughs> something might pull you in. <laughs> oh my god. Hang on. He's so, the oh, critical he's hit. Like, not hit me. Critical hit. I can't believe I rolled 220. Yeah. <laughs> that amazes me. Uh, that's the way it rolls sometimes. The critical hit is going to deal 52 damage. <laughs> it did that much damage to me. That's just the critical hit? That's the critical hit. Um, <laughs> so, you're, you're unconscious. Yeah. Right? So, then the second hit is going to have you fail two death saving throws. Oh, Krista! Uh, so, oh my god! How far ahead is he from me? So I killed this motherfucking uh, maybe like, blink beast maybe just like being... 20 feet-ish? Because there's a couple people okay. between you. Now hang on. Well, that's true. But we're also out of time. So we will pick this up. Cliffhanger! We will pick this up in two weeks. Because oh. next, next week is our break week. Yeah. Uh, you have a couple of healers around, so I don't think it's you're, a potions, you're, you're, yeah. too, a potions. you're too bad. But we'll we'll see what happens. So if you got him on the crib, <laughs> I stumble in the door and kick him. <laughs> 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 the crit knocked him unconscious, and then the second hit 
would did two. Did the two death saving. If the second hit was a crit, would it have mattered at all? No. Damn. Uh, because if he's down, if he's incapacitated and he's hit, it's an auto crit anyway. Uh, which is why there's two failed death saves. But you can't crit. Of, yeah. Crit. You can't get three. No. Okay. No, there's no way to do that kind of one shot. You'd have to hit him multiple times. Well, and by the way, Dan, dude, I'll show you guys what it is. Because this is the first time, like, you've heard about it. Cliffhangers. It's a bone claw. Ooh. Bone claw! Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> I know what that creature is. That is a not good thing. No. Not oh a nice gosh. That's, that's what happens when a lich fails at becoming a lich. Obviously, it's not a nice thing. It's just, like, we should, <laughs> like one hit. <laughs> we should have caught the house on fire, you know? I am so amazed I rolled two 20s. Yeah. That's so crazy. That's crazy, yeah. Oh, jeez. Like fucking point two five. And the unfortunate thing for Krishna is that he was in battle before. Yeah. I have no spell. Like, earlier. Yeah. He had already hands. taken some damage, so he just got Waste some time wrecked. here. Yeah. Laid out. All right, guys. Yeah. Lovely cliffhanger. Uh, we will <laughs> pick this up again in two weeks with session 16 and uh